Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Preschool All-Stars podcast. I'm Bethany Johnson, and I'm joined today by Sarah Sutton. How are you doing today, Sarah? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Of course. We are excited to have you and hear your story. I always like to get a little background from our guests and find out what was going on before they decided to start their preschool journey. So if you could give us a little, the lowdown of what was going on in your life before all this happened. Sure. Well, many, many years ago, when my children were small, I graduated with my bachelor's degree in elementary ed, but my okay. children were still small. I um, wasn't in a hurry to get a full-time teaching job. I still wanted to stay home with them. And I actually um, got into a preschool at a YMCA and fell in love with it. Um, it was it was so much fun. Like my kids got to grow up and go there. Um, I got to teach so many different families and their siblings. And I did that for eight years and I loved it. And unfortunately the pandemic hit and my husband, his hours were cut. And so I went out to find something, you know, that I can make a little more money. And so I had to leave the preschool and um, I got positioned at Head Start, but I was supervisor there. So unfortunately that means I wasn't in the classroom anymore. Mm -hmm. I missed being in the classroom. I missed teaching terribly. And just by chance, one day on Facebook, I saw one of Joy's ads and, you know, curiosity got me and I clicked on it and ordered the book and read it in like two days. And just kept, you know, kept up with the Facebook page, you know, everyone else's stories, seeing how far they were going. And it really, you know, got me intrigued. And I thought, you know, if all these other people can do it, maybe I can do it also. So that's what, you know, that's what inspired wow. me to get into it. Yeah. That's awesome. So you have tons of experience with preschool anyways. How, how long were you teaching preschool? Um, I taught for eight years. Eight years. Okay. Yeah. And then... You were just in the Head Start program for a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I'm still in it. I'm going okay. to work full time and continue, you know, and do my preschool program. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how would you say it's, I mean, obviously you're not in the classroom. That's the biggest thing at the Head Start, but I'm interested hearing from, um, you know, a supervisor at the Head Start because you don't hear from that very often. So what would you, what's your experience with that? Um, I like it. I really do. I Every chance that I get, I try and, you know, go in the classroom just to help them out as much as I can because I really mm -hmm. miss, I miss being in the classroom. Um, my main job is being at a desk in front of a computer and, you know, it's, yeah. it's not that much fun. I don't get to, you know, sing silly songs and yeah. read silly stories and things like that. And I miss that. So any chance I can sneak into the classroom and um, read a story to the kids or, you know, hang out with them, I, I do because I miss it. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So when did you, when was it that you decided that you were going to start your preschool and is it online or is it in person? For it is you? online right now. Okay. Yeah. Right now, just the easiest for me is, is to do it online. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, when this whole pandemic started, I started doing zoom meetings and things like that. And so I really like the zoom aspect and that's, that's what I'm going to do my online preschool through is through zoom. And I really enjoy it. Awesome. So how, when did you start? When did you first start your online class? Um, actually, I started in June. I'm going to do a summer program. I figured um, this will be the big starter point. This will let me know if, if it's going to work, if this is something I really like and I'm good at. So mm -hmm. I figured the summertime was going to be perfect just to try it out. That way I'm not locked in for a whole school year. I just have totally. two months right now to try it out. Yeah, absolutely. I think summer's a great time to start. That's when I started and it worked out well. It just flowed right into, into the fall and then it's been going ever since. So I think starting with the summer, you can kind of market it as a summer camp or like a summer session. It, people don't mm -hmm. feel as, you know, as locked in, like you said, to like for a whole school year. So have you started your marketing or advertising? Do you have students? What's, what's the lowdown now? I do. Um, oh my goodness. When I started the fan founding families, I was scared. I was scared to death. I was like, that's what I no. hear so much. That's like the scariest part for everyone is putting out that family. Oh support. yes. I didn't think I'd have anybody interested. Um, I was really worried, but really the big thing that helped me was I have a lot of, um, previous preschool parents that I'm friends with on Facebook mm -hmm. and they either helped share it or, you know, they had younger siblings that they wanted to put in my program. Um, that has helped tremendously. 
that really has. I do have, I have seven students signed up right now. So I'm so excited. Right. And surprisingly, I only know five of them. So two of them were just a recommendation from somebody else that I knew. That's great. That's such a great resource to have all mm -hmm. those parents that you know, you've already taught their kids. I bet they have so many friends that they can refer. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So what's the setup for your, for your class? When is it, what are the times and how is, how many kids in each class or are you doing the teaching time and the preschool pals time? Yes. So I'm going to do um, a pre-recorded time Okay. and I've got two day options, either Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday class or a Tuesday, Thursday class. Okay. And um, so what I've explained to the parents is that I will do a pre-recorded lesson, 30 minutes that I will send them the night before and the child can watch it anytime during the day. And then because I work all day, when I come home at um, 4.30 to five, we'll do a live preschool pals okay. on that Monday and Wednesday or that Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah, so okay. twice a week, twice a week, they'll have the pre-recording and twice a week, they'll have the live preschool pals. Okay, nice, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And how many kids do you want in each class about? Like, would be ideal for you? I'm hoping for 10 for each class, so total 20. Okay, and how much are you charging? Um, my founding family's price was 57, but after that was done, 77 is what I'm going to charge. And then a $50 registration fee. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool. So do, what's your model going to be like, are you teaching, um, you know, like numbers, letters, that type of stuff? Do you have a special niche that you're going for or what's your curriculum that you're going to be using? Well, I love doing themes in my previous preschool that I taught every month we had a fun theme and then I would base off, you know, my numbers or my crafts or my letters along with that theme. Uh, so that's the big thing that we're going to do this summer. And I am going to try with it being only eight weeks, it's hard to squeeze in all 26 letters, yeah. you know, each day. So I am just going to try and, you know, review that, give them different crafts to work on, uh, different stories and songs. But we've got different themes for each each week, which I'm really excited about. My favorite one's going to be the creepy crawly bugs. I love it mm. when we do a bug unit. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, we just did some insects and we watched caterpillars turn into butterflies. And we had an ant farm that didn't stay alive very long, but they loved it. <laughs> <laughs> they loved the bugs. Well, that's great. So for the crafts, you said you're going to have them do crafts. Are you sending home? Like, I know some people do like a box that they send home. Are you going to do that? Yeah, I'm going to send them like a um, summer fun kit that's going to have okay. just some supplies in it. Yeah, some limited supplies. And then um, if there's any extras that they would like to do, I'm going to send a list to the parents that they're able to purchase. But I am going to try and send something, you know, for them to have. Awesome. Is that an extra charge or is that included in your original price? It's going to be included with the registration fee. Awesome. Sounds mm -hmm. like you, you're you well on your way. You got students <laughs> signed up and you got your themes all ready and it's almost summer now. I know it's gotten here really fast. <laughs> yeah, totally. That's exciting. That's exciting. So let's see, what are your future plans with this? I know you're still, you know, working with the Head Start, so it's kind of hard to separate everything, but ideally, what would your future plans be? I would love to be able to um, extend this, open this up more, have, because I'm watching all the different um, people that Joy has brought on to show us that have worked with, you know, online preschool. I mean, it's just, it's blown me away. It's amazing, you know, how many people have been so successful at it. And so, you know, I would love to, to grow it and make it bigger, you know, and if, if it gets bigger, you know, just being able to focus on this and nothing else. So mm -hmm. I'm really hoping I can do that. I'm right now. I haven't been thinking past the summer just because I want to get that, you know, prepared and, <laughs> and out of the way, yeah. but, but, um, I'm hoping that I can extend it and, you know, make it an everyday thing and bring more kids in. Awesome. Awesome. So how old are your kids now? Oh goodness. Uh, 15, 13 and 10. So they're out of the preschool age. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I missed yeah. that age. <laughs> yeah. Have they been able to help you get set up with everything? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, my yeah. Well, my youngest, my ten year old, she loves it. She yeah, she is. She's helped me like hang up all my decorations, and she's mm -hmm. like, "Mom, can I help with crafts?" And so yeah, she's excited about. It. My oldest two are boys, and they're in that teenage phase, and yeah, they, yeah, they, don't, yeah. Care they don't care about anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So let's see. Tell me about your first sign up. How did that feel? What was that like? 
after oh my putting yourself out there with that terrifying script. <laughs> it was scary because I had never done PayPal before. Like my husband had always messed with that and I'd never done it. And so like my very first one, she's like, okay, where do I send the payment? What do I do? And I'm like, uh, okay, hang on. Let me send you my PayPal. And then, then after I like got her figured out, then I figured out the invoices because I wanted to send her, you know, a receipt. So she knew that she paid for it. And yep. so I felt like on like my third one, I'm like, oh, I'm a pro at this now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I totally feel that. Um, what do you think that your biggest roadblock was in all of this? Um, oh, probably just making sure that I can find the time. Like my, my youngest, even though she's 10, she still really likes my attention and, and making sure that I have enough time in the evenings to, you know, do all the, all the challenges and all the things I need to do to get ready for my business and still make sure, you know, luckily my boys are older and they're fine, but my youngest, yeah. she's the only girl. And so, you know, she likes to have all my attention. So I think just making sure that um, even during the summertime, I'll be able to, you know, I'll probably have to stay up late to get a lot of things accomplished, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Are you in the summertime you'll have off from your, the other job or are you working all summer? So I still work as a supervisor. I'll still work because I'll be recruiting for our students in the fall. Um, okay. We won't have any students or teachers in the building, so it won't be, you know, won't be as hectic and crazy, but yeah, I do still work. Okay. And where are you located? Uh, in Corden, Indiana. Indiana. Okay. So mm -hmm. have you guys been in like in person this year for a lot of it? When did you guys go back to in school? Um, for the preschool that I'm at, they, um, they've had to go back and forth. Like we would go back for a couple of weeks and then a big quarantine would happen where we'd have a lot of staff out. So it'd be back and forth, but luckily um, we're all in person now. Our, our students and the staff still wear masks and things, but, um, but yeah, luckily we've all been able to end out the year and be in person. So that helps out. Cool. Cool. So the biggest reason for leaving the job at the Y, which you loved was financial, right? You yes. loved it, but you weren't making enough, which is what every early childhood educator seems to say. Yep. And so then you went to the Head Start and you don't love it as much, but you're making enough. So it's yeah. kind of catch 22. So now you're trying to build yep. your own thing and make <laughs> enough and then have your own, your own gig. Yes. Cool. So how would you say that the preschool all-stars have helped you along this journey? Oh my gosh. I would, there's no way I would have known how to do anything. I mean, even the scripts that Joy gives us, because I feel like I'm always tongue tied and I never know exactly the right thing to say. I mean, just being able to copy and paste and her being able to, you know, just help us along. I mean, that has helped me tremendously. I, I use, you know, I feel like I need a cheerleader behind me telling me, you know, you can do this, what you need to do, you know, that helps. I mean, oh, that's, yeah. Cause I am not a big like homework studying person, but I feel like at nighttime I'm studying cause I'm like reading through everything, you know, trying to recall what I need to do. So, um, so that is, yeah, that has helped tremendously because I don't feel, and I would not have had the courage to do the founding families or the fundraiser. And I literally, like, I feel like my jaw hit the ground when many people were messaging me and donating money or wanting to sign their child up because I wouldn't have had the courage to do that on my own. That's awesome. Tell me about the fundraiser. So I just did the fundraiser yesterday, actually. Okay. <laughs> I just did it yesterday. Yeah. I probably spent all night, Saturday night, just kind of looking through it and trying to figure it out. And then Sunday morning, you know, once the right time hit, I'm like, okay, I'm going to try it. You know, hopefully nobody's going to be mad at me because I'm asking for money or, you know, and within two minutes, I had my first donation and I mean, I just started, the tears just started flowing. Wow. I really didn't think it would happen. And, and at the end of the day, I was uh, more than halfway to our, to my goal what? in one day. Yeah. Oh I gosh. was, How did it was amazing. Work? What did you, what was it? Tell me, give me some beats about that. Cause I haven't seen the, the fundraisers too much. I haven't been so, in. <laughs> the fundraiser is to um, raise money for students that wouldn't be able to maybe afford, you know, the preschool oh, like program. Like a scholarship program type thing? Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. And okay. It's, it's amazing because, I mean, right now I'll be able to enroll three students that maybe wouldn't have been able to before. And I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. Like I said, I, ugh, 
I'm the kind I just get nervous. I don't like to ask people for stuff yeah, at all. So uh, I mean, totally. just to see how generous people were was amazing. Mm-hmm. Did you use like a GoFundMe type platform? Um, so it's set up on Facebook. I can't remember oh, what okay. the name. It's a fundraiser through Facebook. Um, I think they have a personal um, a personal setup with it. It's a it's a certain company. I can't remember what their name is though. But okay. um, but they I think they and they just have like a small percentage that I think goes towards them, and then the rest will go towards you know the fundraiser. That's really awesome. I hadn't even, mm-hmm. I haven't even thought about doing that. I got to get in the group because. Oh <laughs> I've yeah. Been, I've been on maternity <laughs> leave and I've been out of the loop, and that's oh. like, uh, that's that's a new a new thing. That's really awesome. <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah, I heard I heard that one. Of, I heard that somebody just had a baby. I didn't realize it was yeah. you. So congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I've been totally out of the loop. This is my first interview back since, since the baby. So I'm, I'm excited to get back to it. So my favorite question, what do you have to say to any women who are starting their journey on their preschool about what starting their journey to start their own preschool or thinking about it, maybe, you know, wondering if they can do it or having some second thoughts, what would you say to them? Oh my gosh, definitely stick with it. Don't give up. Don't take your time with it. You know, if this is something that you're feeling and you're excited about right now, go with it. Um, I'm so glad I didn't take my time with it. I'm so glad I didn't wait because I don't think I would have gotten the courage, you know, if I just waited so long. So definitely stick with it and listen to joy, listen to every, you know, everybody that has the advice on the Facebook pages, because I mean, they've all been joy is a great help, but so is all the other teachers that are in there too. Mm-hmm. So definitely don't give up, stick with it, stick with it, stick with it. <laughs> yeah. And what about yourself? What would you tell yourself a few months ago when you were wondering if it was going to work out to give yourself some, some pep? What do you think you can <laughs> go back some encouragement for yourself <laughs> that I can do that? You can do it. <laughs> It, it ends up really great in the end, you know, we're, we're, we're in the long stretch right now. So, oh my goodness. Yes. I, cause I mean, in the beginning, you know, it was exciting, but I'm like, uh, can I really do this? So yeah. whew, it's been, it's been a definitely a big adventure, but I'm glad I've stuck with it. Absolutely. Yeah. I think sometimes, especially with the online school, just like jumping right in is the best way to do it. That's, Mm -hmm. I mean, I had planned for my local preschool. And then once the pandemic hit, I was like, I guess I'm going to do online first. And Mm -hmm. within a week, you know, with Joy's challenge, I was already pretty much up and running. But if I would have like, you know, dawdled with it and, (laughs) and thought about it too long, I probably would have talked myself out of it. So because Mm -hmm. it's so easy to set up and because it's all online and you can do you know, you can stay up if you need to stay up all night, Facebook, you know, you can do that. It's, it's just, yeah. getting it starting it up quicker before your brain tells you you can't do it I think is the best way to do it <laughs> yes that's a good way just don't let your brain get in the way just do it <laughs> yeah absolutely well is there anything else you'd like to share with all of our listeners before we head out oh my gosh just that this has been the best thing ever um I feel like I'm not a confident person when it comes to me doing things just on my own and by myself and this this whole journey has built up my confidence greatly. Like it really has. So, you know, good luck in your adventures and stick with it. Definitely. Yeah. I love to hear that. I love that this program gives women, you know, the confidence to start their own business Mm because we're hashtag lady bosses and we should. (laughs) I love that. That's my favorite thing to hear. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I was, I love your story and I wish you all the best of luck for your. If you'd like to have a success story, just like that one, I invite you to join our preschool all-stars. It's my exclusive membership community where you'll get mentorship from me with weekly Q and a lives support and guidance and friendship from hundreds of women on the exact same journey as you starting running and growing their preschools and my exclusive access to Preschool University, every training and done for you file that you'll need for every milestone on your journey to help you start, run and grow your preschool. We've all been there and we've got the exact same steps that you need to go through, but we do it all very quickly so that you don't have to waste time or money doing the wrong things at the wrong time. We'd love for you to join our Preschool All-Stars membership. Just go to preschoolallstars.com or click the link in the description to a 
immediately jump into Preschool All-Stars. Again, go to preschoolallstars.com and we'll see you there.